Hello and welcome to Intro to Computer Games and Simulations here at Lorain County Community College. And today we are very lucky to have a guest with us. We have uh, Mr. Lee Colson, who is the director of our Neo Launch, uh, is it .NET? Neo Launch Net? Neo Launch Net. Neo Launch Net here on campus to talk to you about possibilities of starting your own business. Turn it over to you, Mr. Colson. Thank you, Michael. Thank you very much. <clears throat> And welcome uh, to uh, this program. What we're going to be talking about today is uh, entrepreneurship and uh, uh, becoming an entrepreneur uh, for the students. Uh, what I'd like for you to do is just ask yourself the question, what is entrepreneurship? And is it what the true definition is when you read it out of a book or when you go on to uh, or into a, a dictionary as to what entrepreneurship is? Well, let's move along and see what we define it as. Entrepreneurship is basically the process of starting a business, typically a startup, a company offering innovative product or process or service. That's the definition that the book uses. But what you need to do is figure out what you consider as entrepreneurship and what it means to be an entrepreneur. Entrepreneur perceives an opportunity, exhibits a bias in taking the decision to export the opportunity. So what you have to do is once you come up with a definition for entrepreneurship, your definition of entrepreneurship, and then what your definition of an entrepreneur is, then you can figure out how to become an entrepreneur. What are you looking for? Do you really want to be an entrepreneur? Well, many of you don't know what an entrepreneur is, but once you define it in your own mind, and believe me, once you define it, you're going to then tweak it as you go through it. But once you define what entrepreneurship is, and you start looking at the various opportunities that can exist, then you can start figuring out how you can put that opportunity with your ideas together. So <clears throat> if we look at it, First of all, no matter what you do, you have to. You have to commit to yourself that you're going to do in life what you enjoy doing as to the work ethic. If you don't enjoy doing what you're doing, you're not going to get up in the morning and being anxious to go to work or getting up in the middle of the day going to work or whatever. We all unfortunately have not won the lottery or born to wealthy parents or wealthy families, so we do have to work. And you might as well enjoy what you're doing. Don't always look for money and prestige in your job, because sometimes you can have make a lot of money, but you don't enjoy what you're doing. Or you can have the prestige of a, uh, a, of a position, but you don't enjoy what you're doing. When it all comes down to the end, you have to enjoy what you're doing. 40% plan on entrepreneurship versus only 6.6% .6 actually do it today. And when we look at entrepreneurship, also keep in the back of your mind that there's entrepreneurship and there's intrapreneurship. Instead of spelling it E-N-T-R, we spell it I-N-T-R. And what is the difference between entrepreneurship and intrapreneurship? Before I, I show you the difference between the two, what you need to know is it's going to be helpful to learn how to become an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur is basically someone that is doing it on his own or her own. An entrepreneur or an entrepreneurship is where you are working for a larger company, a larger association or whatever, and that company decides that they want to do a division or a project in the light of entrepreneurism. And so what you will do is you will be set maybe apart from the company and this department or this section or this particular branch will do, will approach business in more of an entrepreneurial way. And if you don't have the background or the, ba the basic information of entrepreneurism, then you're going to be lost. So what you need to do is you need to learn what entrepreneurship is and how you can, in fact, uh, 
use it. For Generation Z, what are the key trends? You're generally looking for a, a sense of purpose. You're looking for flexibility. And you're looking for the global, social, and mobile uh, lifestyle. You can have all of that with being an entrepreneur. In a general business uh, or a large business where you're working and you go in, you work 9 to 5 or you work 7 to 3 or you work whatever the, the scheduled time, you don't have that flexibility, you don't have that mobility that you do as an entrepreneur. So when it all comes down, what you need to do is you need to follow your dreams. <clears throat> okay? And it's no longer just a privilege to follow your dreams. It's now becoming a real possibility. Because none of us, none of us are guaranteed in life to have a job or to be hired by someone or to work someplace. We have to be sure that we are prepared for the years ahead of us. So <clears throat> Neo LaunchNet, you heard uh, your professor talk and introduce me as being part of uh, NEO LaunchNet. Uh, NEO LaunchNet is a, a, a program based on the main campus in Elyria uh, at, at Lorain County Community College. And we're located on the first floor of uh, the library. And what it is, is we are a uh, program that actually works with three other NEO LaunchNets in uh, Northeast Ohio. The other schools that have an NEO LaunchNet, Kent State, Case Western Reserve and BW, Baldwin Wallace. Okay. Those three schools have an NEO launch net and we work very closely with them. Obviously, we are the only community college that has a, a NEO launch net. And what we do is we work with students, with alumni. Once you finish your, your uh, classwork here at Lorain County Community College, you can always come back to us. We're also open to the staff, the administrative staff of the college and also to uh, the faculty. And all four groups we work with, and we, we actually work with them whether they are startups or they're, they're wannabes or they have had a business going for quite some time. Okay, how, how can you realize your dreams? And <clears throat> any of the launch net can help you try to realize those dreams if you want to go into an entrepreneurial venture. Because what we will do is we will sit down with you and we'll work with you one-on-one. -on -one. Or if you have other friends or other uh, uh, classmates or people who are not affiliated with the college at all, as long as you are affiliated with the college, then we can work with your group. And there's no cost to you. Let me get clear right from the beginning. We do not have any money to offer to you. Uh, we are not. We're uh, funded by the Burton D. Morgan Foundation out of Hudson, Ohio, and they do not provide us with money to give out to uh, entrepreneurs. But we have sources where we can direct you to go and get uh, money to try to uh, to uh, fund your uh, your venture. But what we will do is we will sit down with you and work with you one on one. Uh, everyone that works in uh, NEO LaunchNet uh, has signed a confidentiality agreement and a non-compete agreement, which simply means that we cannot take your idea and compete with you on it or run with it. We cannot tell your idea to anyone on our campus or anyone anywhere throughout the world. Uh, if Dr. Ballinger would come to us and ask us, what does John Doe do or married uh, Doe do uh, with their... Uh, in their launch net uh, program, we cannot, cannot discuss that with, uh, with our president. <clears throat> so what we want to do is we, we want to look at how can you use Lorain County Community College to further your entrepreneurial venture. Next week, November 14th, uh, 15th, and 16th, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we have uh, Entrepreneurship Week, Global Entrepreneurship Week. And Global Entrepreneurship Week is actually uh, celebrated throughout the world. Uh, there are over 70, 70, 70 countries throughout the world that celebrate Global Entrepreneurship Week during this uh, period of time. <clears throat> and what we will be having is we'll have events on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. 
On Monday, November 14th, we have Mike Polk, Jr. Some of, some of you may have heard of him. He's a comedian. He'll be in the College Center building from, uh, from 12, uh, actually 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, in the, uh, uh, the Commons area. Uh, he's an American comedian, actor, and newspaper columnist, known primarily for his sketch comedies and viral uh, videos uh, on that. Uh, you can get tickets online. You can go on to uh, neolaunchnet.com. Uh, you can go uh, get to NEO Launchnet through uh, the uh, college uh, website, and you can get tickets uh, for that. Uh, and there's no cost to the tickets. The tickets are free, but we just need uh, uh, to know uh, for seating purposes. <clears throat> on Tuesday, November 15th, the next day, in again, uh, uh, the CC building, the main uh, college center uh, building, from 11 a.m. to 1.30, we have uh, an expo. Uh, we have uh, entrepreneurs who are coming in uh, to uh, tell you about their, their entrepreneurial ventures. And we also have food trucks. We have, uh, there will be eight or nine different food trucks that will be parked immediately outside of the uh, College Center. Uh, and it will uh, showcase uh, uh, student businesses and the local businesses in the community. And then on Wednesday, we have what is known as CB. CB stands for Fostering Entrepreneurial Business Education. And what that is, we have a CB morning and we have a CB evening. Phoebe morning, we meet every Wednesday morning from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. over across campus in the Death Age Entrepreneurial Center uh, in room 132 A and B. Uh, we, we have about uh, anywhere from 25 to 35 uh, people there uh, that will come in. They are entrepreneurs from uh, Northeast Ohio, some as far as downtown Cleveland drive in for it. Uh, we are sponsored by uh, the uh, Dunkin' Donuts, which is located across the street. They uh, uh, donate uh, coffee and hot water and tea bags and uh, everything for us uh, for that hour. Uh, and it, it's a way of networking and it's a way of learning about entrepreneur, uh, entrepreneurs and how entrepreneurs work. That's uh, every, like I said, every Wednesday morning from 10 to 5. We have it 50 weeks out of the year. The only two weeks we do not have it uh, is uh, Christmas week and New Year's week. Uh, but we have a speaker that will come in and talk about how do you do this, how do you do that. Some are entrepreneurs, some are uh, professional speakers, etc. And it's a way of getting to network and getting to know people. The second thing we have going on is student business competition from 1 to 5 in PC 101. And what that is is where you can come in and give a seven-minute pitch on your idea. Uh, and uh, you just have to register with NEO LaunchNet. Uh, and you'll be given seven minutes to pitch this idea and then a three-minute uh, question and answer period of the judges. And first place uh, will receive $500, second place uh, $250, and third place $150. Uh, again, uh, you need to uh, reach out to uh, NEO Launch In and tell them that you are interested in presenting and they will uh, give you a, a time uh, and all the, uh, the rules that you may need. Lastly, we have Phoebe Evening. Phoebe uh, has become so popular uh, during the, the morning that we've uh, expanded it to have a Phoebe Evening once a month. Generally, it is the second uh, Wednesday of every month. Because of Global Entrepreneurship Week, we've extended it and we put it into the Global Entrepreneurship Week. But that's done a little differently. What we do is we have a panel of people that will come in, and the panel will be anywhere from three to five entrepreneurs, local entrepreneurs that may be franchisees or in the agricultural uh, business or uh, five uh, family businesses that have started. And you get to learn more and more about entrepreneurism on that. That will be uh, from 5.30 to 6.30 and, uh, on Wednesday, and uh, we're talking about uh, veterans uh, this coming Wednesday and veterans that have come home uh, and started uh, entrepreneurial ventures. So you may want to come for that. As a matter of fact, you may want to also encourage your uh, uh, professor to uh, 
give you uh, some extra credit uh, if you attend those because we do register the students and we send it to the uh, instructors for extra credit. Okay, what are your uh, paths at uh, Lorain County Community College? Uh, you can get a one-year entrepreneurial certificate uh, or you can get a two-year associate with uh, entrepreneurship major. Those are the two main paths. Realize that you can also then go on for a four-year with our university partnership with the University of Toledo. And at the University of Toledo, uh, you will then get your four-year degree with a major in entrepreneurism. I mentioned earlier to you that uh, Phoebe is always uh, held at uh, the Destage Entrepreneurial Center. Uh, the Destage Entrepreneurial Center is located across the parking lot from uh, Spitzer. Uh, and this is the lobby when you come in. And if you just go, as soon as you go in the front door, you turn to your left and you're going down this hall in 132. A and B will be right uh, behind uh, basically that front, uh, front desk area. Uh, what they have there is uh, video conference rooms and flexible training spaces for up to 40 people. Uh, and uh, if you're a growing business, uh, you can also go there. Uh, uh, they will provide various facilities for you. We even have some uh, entrepreneurs who are renting space on the second and third floor uh, on, uh, in the building. And they, they work directly with the people there uh, and I think it's either the first three months or the first six months, and I, I think it's more the first six months that you uh, can get free rent and uh, have all the facilities uh, working right out of there. Phoebe mornings, again, uh, we've discussed that. Uh, the first Wednesday of each month is a how-to series. How do I set up a business plan? Or how do I uh, record my uh, my income, my expenses, etc. Uh, they're all available uh, for you. And again, these are all videotaped so that if you miss one and you found out the, uh, uh, the subject matter that you want to learn about, they are generally, they're videotaped and it takes them about uh, seven to ten days to get them ready to be posted to our, uh, uh, to our Phoebe uh, website and you can go in, and there's no cost to you to go in and review that and get that information. TV evening, again, second Tuesday, uh, and, and in the same, uh, same location. Also in that building, in the Death Siege building, we have GLIDE. And GLIDE stands for the Great Lakes Innovation and Development Enterprise. It basically, they will help you uh, and assist your, your business as your business uh, starts to grow. Uh, they have the in, in, uh, incubator space there for uh, businesses. They have one business over there that has uh, approximately 70 employees. Uh, they also have access to funding, uh, and they also have the community technology transfer. And what that, that means is that let's say that you have an idea that is considered in our vernacular uh, intellectual property. You want to protect that. You can go through the community technology transfer, and what they will do is they will work with you in setting up uh, a copyright or setting up a, uh, uh, any kind of protection that you need for your, uh, your business idea uh, on that. And again, that's all free to you. Uh, if you then go into uh, that you need an attorney to help you assist that, they have sources of attorneys available that will work with you. They will charge, but they uh, will work with you. Part of the innovation, fun, part of the, uh, uh, the glide is that they work with the innovation fund. And the innovation fund is a funding process where you can get either $25,000 or you can get $100,000. Uh, 8 to 10 percent of Lorain County companies that come in uh, are, are funded by innovation funds. 40 to 50 percent go from uh, Cuyahoga County and 30 to 40 percent other Northeast Ohio counties. But look at that, 10 and a half million dollars has been given out. Uh, 200 plus million has been raised by those companies that initially received the 10 and a half million dollars. 
They have two types of grants, the Grant A and Grant B. Grant A are $25,000 grants. Uh, those you do not have to pay back. Grant B are $100,000 grants. And some of the criteria that the, you have to meet is that you have to pay back that $100,000 over a period of time if you are successful. If you go belly up, you don't pay it back. Uh, but you also have to raise $100,000 from other sources uh, on that. Now, they will not give you just a, a, a check for $100,000. They will give it to you as you show your progression uh, moving up the, uh, the entrepreneurial ladder on that. Also, what we have over there that is very helpful is the Ohio uh, Small Business Development Center, the SBDC. Uh, they are located on the first floor of that uh, Desage building. And there you can go in and work with them. They uh, will help you with, uh, with talking with bankers. Uh, they will help you uh, with different programs that they put on. They can reach out to the general community at large uh, that is there that uh, you uh, should be aware of. Uh, and you can see they have the access to capital, buying or selling a business, exporting. These are all various programs that they have had over the last year, and they keep on repeating them so that there's a, a, a large amount of information that is available to you, uh, all at no cost to you. We also have our own uh, Fab Lab. Uh, Fab Lab is uh, located over in the engineering building. Uh, it, we have a commercially available uh, machines, a collection of them. Uh, you probably have heard of 3D printers. We have, uh, I think it's three or four 3D printers that are over there. Uh, it can uh, make up anything uh, with features bigger than those of a computer chip. Uh, it's free uh, to everyone, uh, all students and all community members. Uh, their hours are basically Wednesdays and Thursdays from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. and then on Saturdays 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. And you can go there and you can make a number of things. All you have to pay for are the materials that you use. For example, let's say that you want to make a dog tag. <clears throat> you pay for the dog tag, uh, the metal piece, and you can make the dog tag with your name on it, whosever name you want to put on it, etc. You can go ahead and make things on the 3D printer. A number of people will come in and make their product inside the Fab Lab. Their only cost is, again, the, the cost of the materials, and then go out and sell it uh, out of their home or sell it at a, a business or, or whatever. They have tools there need to conceptualize, design, develop, fabricate, and test a variety of things. I mean, the equipment there is, is truly unbelievable. Uh, we were the, actually the second public facility in the country with the Fab Lab. The first Fab Lab was started at MIT, uh, Massachusetts Institute of Technology in Boston. We sent some people there and those from uh, the college, and they came back with very good notes and decided to open up the first Fab Lab here on campus, which was about uh, 12 years ago and they have expanded three times, and they're now in the middle of, uh, of a fourth expansion on that. <clears throat> so <clears throat> as to the expansion of the Fab Lab, you may have seen the, the construction that is going on on the uh, east, I'm sorry, on the west side of the campus uh, where the PC Campana building is. Uh, there will be a new entrance coming in there and they, what they've done is they've combined two buildings together and expanded the space in, into there. They will be moving into there along with Unity Lab and other services. And actually, uh, December of 2017, NEO LaunchNet will be moving over there also. So how do you realize your dream uh, for your career? We talked about how you did it for, uh, through the college. How about in Northeast Ohio? Well, in Northeast Ohio, outside of the college, we have Jumpstart, which is an organization located in Cleveland. They will help you uh, as an entrepreneur. Uh, Bizdom, uh, Cleveland Thinkbox. Thinkbox is located on the Case uh, campus. Uh, Magnet is an organization in, in Cleveland that, again, helps 
uh, wannabe entrepreneurs or entrepreneurs. Bad Girl Ventures, uh, they work generally with, uh, with female entrepreneurs and they're trying to promote female entrepreneurs and they uh, are a source of money and a source of, of aid. We also have Akron uh, Accelerators. Uh, they are also uh, a place that uh, people have gone to. Uh, the other thing that uh, we have uh, in Northeast Ohio is uh, Lorain County Community College is a member of the EEC. The EEC stands for the uh, Entrepreneurship Education uh, Consortium and consists of 11 schools. Ten of those schools are four-year schools. Uh, one is uh, Lorain County Community College. We are the only community college that are in, uh, that is involved with uh, the EEC. The other schools are uh, Cleveland State, Kent State, um, Lake Erie College, uh, John Carroll, Baldwin-Wallace, uh, Ashland University, uh, Hiram College, um, uh, University of Akron, uh, and I forget, forget the others right now. But what we have is we have two things a year. We have in, uh, uh, in February, late February, beginning of March, we have Idea Labs. Idea Labs is similar to what we're having next uh, week. Uh, it's a pitch, a seven-minute pitch where you have an idea and you come before a uh, group of judges. And what you will do is you'll, uh, you'll uh, in the seven minutes, give a pitch as to what your idea is and how it can help or uh, promote uh, good things for, uh, for the, uh, the area. Uh, and then it's followed by three minutes of Q&A. What that will do, first place again is $500, second place is $250, third place is $150. But if you win first place, you can then uh, go to the regional and you compete with the other 10 schools. And each school will send one group, and it can be a group of one up to a group of five people. So if you have five friends that have an idea, you're ready to pitch, feel free to uh, be involved in that. The first place uh, at the regional uh, wins five thousand uh, dollars on that, so it can be the, the starting point for your entrepreneurial venture. Also, what they have is in uh, the first week of August of every year, each school will send a team of five students to go and live on campus for a week. Uh, for 2017, in August of 2017, it will be at Cleveland State University where you'll actually live on campus, live in the dorms uh, with your team, and you go in on a Sunday, and you go to class Monday, well, you actually start Sunday night. Uh, we have a, a two-hour class Sunday night, and then Monday through Thursday, you go from 9 a.m. till uh, 4.30 p.m. You have different classes, different uh, uh, subject matters talking about uh, entrepreneurship, and then on Friday, you present and there, again, if you win first place, it's a $5,000 first place uh, win for you. So how do you realize your dreams for your career? You've got to look at, at uh, you know, what you want to do. You've got to look at how are you going to do it. Uh, again, go back. The first step is go back and define what is in your mind, what is entrepreneurship, and what is an entrepreneur. And once you do that, then your personal, your personal sense of purpose will be the wind beneath your wings to allow you to accomplish your dreams. So with that, I'll open it up to questions. I don't think we have any questions here in the classroom, but um, uh, Mr. Colton, could you give uh, contact information how they, the students can contact Neil LaunchNet to ask questions? Yes, uh, Neil LaunchNet is located on the first floor of the library. It's in LC, Learning Center 114. We're across uh, the, the hallway from uh, uh, the financial aid uh, department. Uh, you can call us, uh, our number is 440. 366-4900. Again, 440-366-4900. Uh, if you're ever in the, the library, 
feel free to come down. We have a nice lounge there, and we're willing to sit down and talk with you at any time. Uh, you can go on onto uh, the uh, website through uh, the college website and just in, input in either NEO LaunchNet or entrepreneurship, and you'll get our uh, you'll go directly into our sub website. Okay, thank you very much. That's it this week for Intro to Computer Games and Simulations. We'll see you next time.